Okay, Barbary, I am back for your test because the last time you were just too easy, so let's take him on as if he were a regular boss fight. So we got a buff immediately from our mag here, so that's pretty good. It's pretty lucky there. So just watch out. Um, these things will actually hurt you, so just stay in the corner just like you would with De Raleigh. And just, and yeah, another good thing about this boss is that I believe for all of the difficulties, or I mean all of the section IDs, this guy can drop a double saber, which actually is one of my favorite weapon types. Uh, that's, and for a hunter anyway, I mean, for any melee class. So if this guy drops it, then well, we're just pretty lucky. If not, then, I mean, I won't worry about it. We can hunt it later on in future areas. Oh, let's see if we can get it. Ow! Yeah, so he has about a 1 in 22 chance to drop it, man. So it's a little bit less than 5% uh, there. Yeah, so just watch out for the shockwave attack, because that can hurt you. So just keep your distance for a little bit, move in, and just go all up, because he can't do anything to you. Then heal up immediately once he uh, unbeaches itself. Well, unbeaches himself. I don't know. I, it seems genderless. No, I think even at this certain area, he can still hurt you with the shotgun because it has that huge of a range. It's an awkward range, but I mean, I'm not 100% sure of that. I mean, there might be a safe spot in that front end, uh, line there, but I mean, if you get hit, then just hope you live and, you know, yell up immediately afterwards. Okay, it's just... Oh, keep moving, keep moving. I mean, those pig rays won't really hurt you, even in this difficulty. At least I don't think it is, because I hardly even get hit by them. If I, well, let's just test it out. Okay, yeah, they're not devastating, but eh, still kind of want to keep an eye out for them. And those horrible ball things, you want to keep an eye out for those too. Alright, so again, go all out once he beaches, and hopefully we're, we will remove its shell soon. And apparently my buffs were off some time ago. Oh, okay, so apparently you are safe here, so don't worry about that. Yeah, look at that damage. Holy crap. We are in good hands here. Uh, and you can even kind of attack him from here, but... I mean, I wouldn't rely on that too much. Unless you are a ranger, then. I mean, yeah, sure, go all out. I mean, I could use my stormy block up here, but... Oh, I thought he was about to beach again, but that would be a little bit weird because he only beaches three times per side. But yeah, I mean, I could use my sh uh, storm lock gun, which I might. Oops. I'm not sure why I was about to use anti, but I do not want to do that. I mean, it wouldn't be effective anyway, and my accuracy isn't all that high, so I, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, so uh, as we didn't see last time, he is in the rear of the ship here, or the raft, rather. And he's about to go berserk. Oh, why don't why don't he actually show that? Ow. Okay, yeah. I took a hit just for you guys, so you better thank me for that. Yeah, so he jumps right to the front, and that's basically the whole variation of Barbary. Since we didn't get to see it last time, as I mentioned. You know what? Uh, let's feed our mag here because we can. Yeah, so I won't be focusing on mine right now. I'll actually just be. Whoops. It's for the distraction, Pig Ray. I'll just be focusing on power because, well, we don't really need any techniques after 150 MST. So, after 150, that's pretty much the end of our peak point. Unless you're a force, and of course you want to focus on mind. But since I'm a hunter, I really couldn't care less. Until I get to, like, uh, some of the debuffs uh, later on, maybe about level 10 or so for each debuff. Then I might want to invest more into mine, or at least have a separate mine mag or something. Alright, so again, just go all out. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Okay, good. Ah, nah, we didn't hit it, sadly. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, got a few hits, that's awesome. I'm gonna heal just, just in case. Even though it won't matter. Oh! You only beach twice. Okay, well you can you can go on the other side already. That's fine. Won't really matter to me because you're about to die soon, anyways. And I 
I think I'll be level enough from this boss fight. I'm not too sure how much experience this guy gives you exactly. I think a little more than 2,000. So, I mean, if you want to keep doing boss runs, especially in the forest, because the forest is really, really short, and so, uh, for such an easy dragon fight, it too. You know, you'll get a lot of experience really fast. It's great for grinding on hard mode. But I don't think I'll be grinding too much on hard mode. We'll see. I mean, if I'm having difficulties in the cave on hard mode, then, you know, I just might. Oh, oh geez, he's using the laser again. Wonderful. Yeah, so... Yeah, he doesn't use it too frequently. He actually only uses it twice, and then he jumps to the front lines. So it's not as devastating. Okay, come on. Move over. You're wasting valuable video minutes here. Thank you. Alright. So let's finish this guy off. Come on. Oh. Jesus. Oh my god. I was a little too lucky there. <laughs> okay. I, I should have used a monomate there just to be on the safe side, but I apparently wasn't thinking. You see, that's the flaw with Resta. I mean, it's good to use Resta when you have a chance, but I mean, you have to think about the healing time. Actually, no, it actually takes to cast, so if you get hit within those few seconds, then you're dead. So I like to use monomates or any other healing items for quick healing. Yes, we got him. We got him. All right. Awesome. Okay, and we've got a level up, as I said. And unfortunately, we got the setup, but we got a decent amount here. We got okay, thirteen hundred. It's not that great. So let's just pick up all the items here. Hopefully, we'll find something interesting. And we can't pick up anything else because our inventory is full. Oh, I'm actually going to drop this and this. The force items don't really sell for a lot, so I mean, if you can spare those, then go for it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this special episode of Let's Play Fantasy Star Online, and I'll see you next time in Galdaval Island.